Hey guys. Morning. We're tired. Mm hmm. I went to bed at two. Scott went to bed at three. Dad, I love Hallmark. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do between classes today. I know what I'm doing. What? Well, well, you're going to get f photos yep. that were developed for you. Yep. Then, three o'clock, I have rehearsal. We're doing our first stumble through. Which basically is the first time we run the entire show without stopping. Mm. Really gets to play the crazy old lady. Oh, mm -hmm. I do play a crazy old lady. I'm trying to figure that out. I will admit, I've played a lot of characters since I got into acting. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Well guys, I've been to EKU since 2012, and I've never been in the chapel in the center of the campus. And um, I'll admit, it's quite different. It's really pretty in here, but it's not like any chapel I'm used to. It's a universal chapel, which means that it holds to no specific religion. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you some things around here. It's And here you see the altar, which is not like altars we're used to either. It's a stone slab in the middle. Underneath, it's light with stained glass above it, which is pretty cool. Take you over here. And I think, yes, they have an organ. Though I'm not sure what they use this for. Because I don't know if that they have services in here or not. But really, really nice stained glass though. And I'll show you over here the door. It is really ornate. If you all can see it. I don't know that you can. But it has the universal symbol of enlightenment, the sun, in here carved. There's also a horse. All right, guys, I'm over here at EKU's gallery. I'm gonna have to be a little quiet because there's other people here. This is some of the works by the Grand Gesture Borazaki. It's pretty cool. This is my favorite piece, however. Just to give you a, a reference to size on how big this thing is. It's just, it's immense. I really love the detail on it, though. Beautiful piece of work. I have the works I've seen today. This is my favorite of his. My favorite are the birds. It seems to be actually forming out of what seems to be like water at the bottom. Sailing across the sea. Well guys, Jordan's over there. Hey! We're going out fishing. Yeah, we are. Beautiful view. We're actually here before the sunrise. Just so you know, this is the lake over near Whitehall. I've been here before, but man, I haven't tried fishing yet. We're gonna try to get ourselves some good catfish. <laughs> First catch of the day, got myself a bass. Second catch of the day, got myself a catfish. Jordan feels pretty good. We'll see who's bigger here in a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, his catch is bigger. Ah, uh, close. It's about the same size. One to one on catch. He's got a catfish. I've got myself a bass. And whose is bigger? Uh, yours, Mine. by like an inch. Mine. I don't yeah. think an inch is an inch. Yeah, That's I know. Bigger. You still got bigger. Yeah. Jordan's got himself another fish on the line. There goes my bass. Oh, there's a good catfish oh. right there. There we go. There's our filet. Jordan's up to three. I'm up to one still. <laughs> yeah. That's a good sized turtle. Cool. 
huh? Jordan with another catfish. Congrats, you've caught four now. Alright guys, give you a little update on what's going on. Jordan's walking around the bank of the lake going after some bass now. I've still got a line out for catfishing. I'm also just seeing if I can get a hold of anything at this point because I wasn't getting any luck with bass anymore after that first one. Jordan finally got himself a bass too. Yeah, I did. They're all right underneath the dock. Well, this is my third bass. Not too bad. Still not a keeper though. I've done a lot better at bass fishing today than I have catfishing. I guess I'm going to stick with that today. That is a very good sized bass. Jordan's caught his six fish. Yep. Oh, took a live worm, just hooked it on the head, threw it up under these pillars. It's the second one I've hooked, but the only one I got in. The other one was bigger than that. Hey guys, it's been a really interesting morning. First off, Scott went to fish with Jordan over at the Whitehall Park Lake. And so they were up bright and early, got to the park probably bef like by or before 8 o'clock in the morning. I overslept a little bit, so I was running a little bit late for class, rushed out the door, hair still wet, a mess, threw my stuff into the truck, and locked the door with the keys laying in the seat. Yep. So what proceeded was the next 30 minutes, Dad and I trying to break into the truck because not only were my keys locked in the truck, but so was my phone. But yeah, I, I'm in the truck obviously, so we got in, but I missed my class. Now I'm at the Whitehall Park, and it looks like the boys have just finished up fishing. Oh gosh, I think Scott said he hit some keepers. And I also went over to the park office to inquire because I'm really seriously thinking about having the wedding here at Whitehall. I really do. I think it's so pretty. Mm. Everybody, this is Whitehall. This is where we're thinking about having our wedding. This is the grounds. Basically, this would be the aisle. <laughs> This would basically be where the wedding would probably be on the steps and over here would be where the guest would be seated. Nice little shady area. The reception area is supposed to be Maybe down more. here, like right behind the gift shop. There's just some mornings when you need coffee. This is one of them. Yes, it definitely is. Here's a tip for college students out there. Check your emails in the morning, especially if you got 8 o'clock classes, because you never know. Your teachers may still cancel that class. We That's, could, nah, yeah. We could have had an extra hour sleep. <sighs> so Stephanie is painting tongues. That Brit, this is my fifth one. For the play, we have to have human tongues that are cut out of a girl. Or a tongue cut out of her, not multiples, but one out of the puppet. Which will then squirt all kinds of fake blood all over the stage, which I also have to make. But it tastes like a candy cane. 